Hi everyone, today I am going to discuss about floor planning. Floor planning is the process of placing blocks or macros on by or within other blocks and defining routing areas between the blocks or macros. Floor planning includes macro or block placement, pin placement, power planning and power grid design. The decision taken for macro block placement, high pad placement and power planning directly or indirectly impact the overall implementation cycle. Lots of iteration happen to get an optimum floor plan. A good floor planning should make the design suitable, improve the performance and minimize the chip area. Now what are the inputs taken for floor planning stage? The inputs for the floor planning stage are synthesizer netlist, timing constraints, power constraints, area constraints and physical information, I.O. constraints and flow planning controlling parameters such as aspect ratio, height, width, utilization, row to core ratio. We can optionally provide macro placement and I.O. placement information to the flow planning stage. The designer takes care of the design parameters such as power, area, timing and performing performance during flow planning. These estimations are repeatedly reviewed based on the feedback of implementation team, IP owners and article designers. The outcome of flow planning is proper arrangement of macros or blocks, power grid pin placement and partition blocks that can be implemented in par parallel. The first step in the flow, flow planning is estimating die, die size or core area. For estimating die size or core area, we use floor planning controlling parameters as inputs to as inputs to the floor planning stage. First, we have to know what are these controlling floor planning controlling parameters. First one is aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is the ratio between vertical routing resources to horizontal routing resources. If you specify a ratio of one, the height and width are the same and therefore the core area is a square in shape. If you specify a ratio of 3, the height is 3 times the width. The next is core utilization. Core utilization indicates the amount of core area used for cell placement. The number is calculated as ratio of the total cell area to the core area. A core utilization of 0 0.8 means that 80% of the core area is used for cell placement and 20% area is available for routing. The next is row to core ratio. Row to core ratio is the amount of channel space to provide for routing between the cell rows. The smaller the number, the more space is left for routing. A value of 1 leaves no routing channel space between the cell rows. Floor planning installation. In the floor planning installation stage, we set the parameters, floor planning control, controlling parameters as inputs to the floor plan. Floor planning installation has three steps. Set size parameters. It, setting size parameters are done in two ways. One way is set die, die or macro size. But means by giving height and width of the macro or die size directly, we can set the size of the die or macro. The next, the other way of deciding this, setting the size parameter is by giving aspect ratio on shell row, shell row utilization. The second step in flow planning initialization is set parameters for row height orientation and separation. The row height is the equal to the standard cell height. We set the height of the uh, height of the row and orientation and separation in this step. The third step is, third step in the flow planning initialization is set IO core clearances. IO core clearance is nothing but the space from the core boundary to the design boundary. That means core boundary.
which is acted by IOs or IOPINs. The next step in flow planning is macro placement. Macro placement is done manually based on the connectivity with other macros and also with IO pads. Fly lines are used for placing macros manually. Fly lines are virtual connections between macros and ma also macros to IO pads. This helps the designer to get an idea about the logical connections between macros and pads. Fly lines acts, acts as guidelines to the designer to reduce the routing resources to be used. Based on the fly lines, the connections between the macros and IO pads, fly lines are divided into three types. One is macro to macro fly lines, macro to IO fly lines, pin to pin IO fly lines. Macro to macro fly, I, macro to macro fly lines are used used to get an idea of that which macro should place closer to each other. And macro to IO fly lines uh, give an idea that which macro has to place nearer to the IOs. That is called chip boundary and pin to pin IO pin to pin fly lines are used to orientation of the macros ok we will discuss more about flow planning in next part thank you